Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. You know, I live in a country, it's called America, and they speak too much about they are the ones who defend the human rights. And if you watch uh, American TVs, you will find those who call themselves uh, Democrat, which is the liberals, fighting for opening the borders to secure the life of the poor immigrant who want to come to America. But those poor immigrants, they are crossing two countries or three countries before they come to America. And those two countries or three countries are safe and secure. Still, they want to come to America. Obviously, they are looking for a better life, not for security. In the same time, we see, you know, uh, <clears throat> the liberals supporting somebody making false claim about an attack, and not only that, they release him from jail, even though this is a crime. If I do it, I will stay in jail for 20 years, at least, in America. But if you are a, like a, a famous person, rich person, who is connected to a bunch of of corrupt men and women, then you can get away with it. However, this is not my topic today. <clears throat> thousands and thousands of Christians in Nigeria, and Nigeria alone, not to mention other countries, like many countries, we heard how the Muslims attack a university in different country in Africa, and they killed only those who they are Christians. I did not see anyone, any prime minister, any foreign minister, any United Nation official, any president speaking and condemning and says, uh, you know, we do not see Muslims playing uh, uh, Bible in the radio as the, the, the prime minister of uh, New Zealand. She did playing Quran. We did not even hear about it in the TV stations. For a very simple reason. Those Christians, they don't own oil and they are not rich and they are African. Why anyone want to care? Why those people who claim to be senators and famous people who they are supposedly defending their rights and they are black? Why they will care? You know, if you remember before I made a video about slavery in Libya, how more than 20,000 black African enslaved in Libya, six slaves, and until now, nothing changed. Not even a, a, a little trashy of those people in the senators, white or black, did move or do any act to stop that disaster. I say they are trashy because all of them, they are liars. Where is uh, Ted Cruz? the one who claimed to be a minister, Christian minister. I never heard him speaking about it. Or his father is a Christian minister, as he claimed. Where is all those people who speak, then, you know, we defend the truth and we stand against uh, uh, dictatorship and we, you know, why nobody care? The answer is very simple. The media is in the hand of those who have money and have oil. CNN, every five seconds, they will post and use against Christianity. But we don't see CNN crying for any Christians slaughtered every day. It's not something happened like once a year. This is happening every day and nobody cares. Nobody care, neither from the white, neither from the black. When 50 people get killed in New Zealand, the whole world is crying, 24 hours old, the news is speaking about the crime happened against the 50 Muslims. Will we condemn it? It's a crime. It's disgusting. But how dare you not to see the thousands of Christians getting killed every day? rape, murderer, kidnapping their daughters, 
taking them as sex slaves and nobody speak about it why they say to you well it's a normal for Islamic religion to do that so we used to it so if you're used to it you don't talk about it no more and you will not defend them no more and you will not give help no more 280 Christians killed in attack in Nigeria March 18 anyone heard about it this year less than two weeks ago 40 Christian killed in attack in Nigeria February 28 and the last one Actually, not last one, sorry. One hundred. Uh, uh, this is March 16. Uh, 160 Christians in Nigeria get killed. We never heard about it. What about this one? Yeah, it looks like this is the same one, 120. This is March 17. We never heard of it. And not only that, you will see those who hate Christianity, they claim that the right-wing media uses Nigeria attack killing. Let me, let me show you this article. <clears throat> it is now, it, it's now, it's like, <laughs> you know, Nigerian Christians are pawns in USA right-wing media responds to New Zealand attack. Yomi Kazim, written by a Muslim. So look, look how they switch the crime into they are like we are victims. It is the right wing media. What is the right wing media? Well, I, ne I never saw any right wing media speaking about those Christians who killed. And look the picture. The Muslim he made an article and he posed for us a picture. Look at this. People lined up in the top of trucks, in their coffin. They go inside the church, they slaughter the people, they kill the people, and they make videos of it. If you go to YouTube, you will see those uh, 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 Islamic terrorists, they are making videos about it. Nobody says we want to sue YouTube. Nobody says we want to sue, uh, sue uh, Facebook. Nobody says that how in the world you sponsor spreading such a movie. It's all over. Muslims slaughtering Christians, it's all over the internet. But nobody care. Why anyone want to care? Are you rich? Are you in power? Are you important? Do you have oil? Well, they have oil, but not in the poor of the hand of Christians. Not in their hand. Kidnapping children, kidnapping women, raping them, killing them, riding, riding villages, slaughtering hundreds of Christians, and then we don't hear it in the news, not even single time. And Christians, they are asking for help, please. But why anyone want to care? I mean, they are poor black people. Right? One guy who is a supp supposedly a white supremacist, as they said, he made history for Islam. Like, suddenly now, everyone now says, not only the Muslims, they do terrorism. Not only that, actually, they forgot about the Islamic terrorism. It's only that white man who is doing terrorism. But that white man is not a Christian, and he don't believe in Christianity, and he have a 70-page published explaining why he did that. And actually, he explained that he was inspired by the Islamic terrorism. This is what you, terrorists in Islam, do. 
You enter to a gay club and you killed 50 people in Florida. Is exactly the same number as he killed. You inspire him. You enter a restaurant. You explode yourself in a bus station. You explode yourself in a in a in a in a uh, uh, in a in a, uh, a train, uh, a, a tram. I mean, you name it. Coptic Christian being killed, Iraqi Christian being killed, Syrian Christians being killed. Uh, Erdogan want to strip us from our church in Turkey and nobody talk about it. Is that, is that a hate crime? I mean, this guy, he, he make a speech about how this crime happened in the Muslims in Turkey. And in the election, he promised his followers that he will take our church and make it a mosque. while european countries are opening mosques and even they pay from the tax to build mosques for them islamic countries are taking churches and turn it into mosque by the force did you hear anyone speaking about it Hmm? Why do you want to care much? I mean, it's just a church. If a, if a Christian, they want to take a mosque and make it into a church, what will happen? How many leaders around the world will condemn? They will say, you cannot do that. This is hate. This is will spread violence. This is disgusting. This is not right. But when the president of a country, he is a member of the NATO, he say loud in TV, not hiding behind the bushes, I am going to take the biggest Christian church in Turkey and I will turn it into a mosque. Nobody care. Even Trump, he did not open his mouth. Even Putin, who claimed to be a Christian, he did not open, even he did not move his tail. Where is the Orthodox Russian churches? Suddenly you don't care for Hagia Sophia? Isn't it this is an Orthodox Church? Just because you want to do business by selling tomato and potatoes with the with the with the Turkish and that's it, you give them the church. Putin he can humiliate the, uh, this this dragon, empty dragon, Erdogan in two seconds. How you let that even speech go through? Yeah, Putin is a Christian. What do you think? He is a Hindu? Maybe he did something under the like, like under like in part, a poetic sway. He did not mention in public, but we will see. Because if Erdogan he do what he said, that's mean none of them did anything. And all of us we knew that Turkey is a very weak country. You know, a Trump he make two tweet, the economy of Turkey collapse. Just two tweet. If he make four, Turkey is gone. It's just a tweet. The whole land of Turkey is not exist. This is a Christian land. This is the Constantinia. This is not their land. This is a land belong to the Greek Orthodox. And yet Erdogan is giving us a speeches about the Jolan Heights. 
when all his country is not his country. This guy, he forgot that just a few years ago, he was occupying Bulgaria and Romania and Moldova and hell half of a Greece and until now actually there's many islands belong to Greece is still in the hand of Turkey he forgot that not long time ago the Turkish they invade Cyprus an independent country and they took half of Cyprus as we speak you see when you are a person who belong to the cult of Islam and you commit a crime the whole world goes silent. when Erdogan invade or his army at that time invade Cyprus which is a Christian country, a Christian island, it's a country. Not a single European country stand to defend this little tiny island. They are no match to fight Turkey. They took half of, Turkey, of, of, of Cyprus. And until now, they have a Turkish flag in the half of the land of Cyprus. And Erdogan is giving us a speech about the Jolan height. More than 20,000 black slaves in Libya. Anyone from those poor immigrant I will show you the news Try to go through Libya the beautiful Islamic cult They capture them and they force them into slavery Even they are forcing them to do porn They are forcing them to do porn. They will bring a guy who came with his sister to immigrate to Europe and they will say to him, if you want to live, have sex with your sister and they record him. And then they send the tape to his family, wherever he, they are coming from. And they say, you have 20 days to, sh to, to give us the money, otherwise we will publish this tape and everybody will see. Just because they are black, nobody care. What if those people in Libya, they kidnap 20, uh, 20 uh, French citizens? What will happen? How many soldiers France will send to free them? What if they kidnap 20 American? What if they kidnap, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Germans? Why nobody care? Because they are black. They are black, they are poor, they are Ethiopian, they are Eritrean, they are, you know, they are from Africa. I mean, who care for them? Who are you? You are just a poor person. You are a black person. In the top of that, you are poor and you are expecting countries to move for you. Just yesterday, we mentioned that when Kuwait was occupied by Iraq, the whole population of Kuwait is not even in the size of my family. Saddam Hussein occupied Kuwait. The whole world moved America, France, Italy, Canada, Australia, Saudi Arabia. The whole world will move. Why? Because they have oil. They are rich, my friend. Nobody cares for those people who live in Kuwait. They care for the oil in Kuwait. USA sent more than 250,000 soldiers to free a country in the size of a bathroom compared to America. The whole world move. The whole world in, in alarm. Oh no, we cannot let that happen. And the Prince of Kuwait, he will pay. If you believe it or not, 
all the citizens of Kuwait after Saddam Hussein he occupied Kuwait all of them they live in five stars hotels look how big the population is do you see how big the population to the point the prince of Kuwait he paid for their hotel five stars hotel you go anywhere in the world sit there you are a citizen of Kuwait your hotel is paid by the prince money But who will care for those poor Nigerian? And why they shall care? Who want to care for those slaves in Libya? What we are talking about today is very sad. Showing you that nothing changed in this earth. Everything, everything is the same. And, and, and you know, uh, discrimination is not just about color. Discrimination is about money. How much money you have. This is how this filthy earth is. If you go right now and you wear dirty clothes and you try to enter a five stars hotel, what they will do to you? They will kick you out immediately. Nobody will see you as a human. People will see you as a poor person who is a homeless. You are yuck. You are disgusting. Get out. Go change your uniform. Wear a suit. Drive a nice car. Everybody will call you. Yes, sir. Now, why they want to call those Christians in Nigeria? Yes, sir. Look at them. Do they, they do look like, like, yes, sir. They are poor people. They are suffering. Nobody care. Die, cry, get killed, get raped. You deserve it, you are poor. You are African. Nobody care for you. This is what the message in the world today. And then you go and you see those who work in politics have big mouths speaking about human rights. In America, they are busy about, uh, about a Trump. A Trump, the wife of a Trump, she doesn't have the right makeup. The wife of Trump, she is fake. The wife of Trump, she have a plastic surgery. Uh, Trump, he have a connection with the Russian. I mean, look what they are, and they, they speak that they are the ones who defend the human rights. And then we ask, where is those who they are, black African senators in USA? Why they don't talk? Why their mouth is so big to talk about silly stuff, but when there is something so important, we don't hear about them. Have you ever heard any of those speaking about against the crimes happening to African? You claim you 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 say that I am an African and I stand for a human right. And then we never heard you speaking about African, defending African. Obama was in office for eight years, what he did to the African in Africa. Boko Haram flourished, kidnapping Christian girls, raping them, enslaving them, and you name it. Big mouth, false people doing business. Don't make them fool you with their color. They are white or they're black. All of them, they are liars. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. Where is your fruits? When a guy, he is an actor or a singer, his name is Jesse. He made a, a hocus a hate a crime and he will go to jail for 20 years. All of them they stand to protect him and not only that they use their connection to get him out of jail a jail he should stay in for more than 20 years if you are rich if you are connected you can get away with any crime you wish If I claim I hate a crime 
and I call the police and I hire people to beat me up and I say hey there is a bunch of black people that did beat me and then the police they discover that this is was nothing but a hate crime how many years I will stay in jail according to them they said he should stay up to 20 years at least he got away they gave him a nice five stars hotel jail he have his laptop he have his iPad he have his iPhone and he is speaking to all his famous celebrity every day and then they drop all the charges it was easier than dropping a driving ticket look at those faces I mean I am really sick of them they speak too much but all of them, they present to me nothing but a bunch of liars. Which one of them he mentioned what happening to the Christians in Nigeria? Forget about them being Christians, what about being a human? Which one of them, anyone heard any of them speaking about stop killing people in Nigeria? In Africa? <clears throat> Did you hear any one of them he want to do something to stop slavery in Libya? They give you a hug during the election. After that, we do not know them. They fool you about, we love uh, African, and, uh, you know, we care for African, and we will do our best for the African, but that's, that will be forgotten five minutes after you turn your back. Sadly, what we see around us is disgusting. Black or white, who they are in politics, they are nothing but liars and doing business. Otherwise, you tell, you call your senator, you call your congressman and tell him, how come we never heard you speaking, saying something, doing something to protect those who they are killed, taken into slavery in Libya? Can't you say send forces to freedom they can actually they can demand the freedom them in less than 24 hours or else but nobody care nobody care You open your uh, news app, you will see, you see every two seconds uh, an announcement from Erdogan. It's like Erdogan, he is the only president who speak in this earth. Erdogan is making poo poo. Erdogan, he said, Erdogan, he said. And suddenly, like, there's no news except Erdogan. All the news agencies became the propaganda machine of Erdogan. And Erdogan got busted in the election, and now they are trying to over to, to, to override the election in Istanbul. He lost all the major cities because how stupid he is. I don't know what to say, but I wish, I wish I am in charge to do something for those Christians in Nigeria. But I am not. The only thing we can say, we pray to the Lord to stand with them and to support them and to heal them with their cries and their pain. But this is not enough, my friend. We as a Christians, we have a duty. If you are an American, call your congressman or women. Call your senator and tell him, shame on you. Send him a letter, official letter, registered letter, 
and say, I question your dignity. I question your honesty. How come we never heard of you speaking against the crimes there and what you will do about it? Are you just going to make a statement? If you want to make a statement, save yourself from the statement. We do not need a statement. You are in a position. You are not just a person who can make a statement. Why we cannot support them? Is that because they are black? Is that because they are poor? Is that because they are in Africa and nobody cares for Africa? Why all of you cry loudly for the crime happened against the Muslims once in lifetime? When the last time we heard of a crime attack against Muslims? The whole world got busy with it because of a stupid criminal he attacked the mosque. We've been attacked every day by the Islamic you know, uh, terrorism. Every day. And nobody talk about it. In some Christian countries, or some countries, attack on Christians is like an, an, a chicken laying an egg. It's something daily have to happen. It's a must. If it did not happen, that mean this means there's something wrong. Muslims there, they get all the weapon, all the support from around the world, money from Saudi Arabia, from Qatar, from Emirat, from Bahrain, fighters, trainers, mujahideen coming from everywhere. And those poor Christians, they do not, that the only thing they knew how to do is how to cook an egg, uh, maybe, or a chicken. They, they can make a recipe of food. They do not know how to make bombs. They do not know how to fight. They do not know how to defend themselves. And the Nigerian army, in Nigeria today, the president is a Muslim. And this is what makes it more horrible. Those naive people, they voted for a Nigerian president who is a Muslim. And he will never really take a real step against those Muslim terrorists. In fact, he took a step against the Shia. He slaughtered many of the Shia in Nigeria, not the real terrorists who they are fighting. If you go in the news, <clears throat> you will see, I don't know if I can find it for you, how they killed a lot of Shia. Maybe we can't find it. So, you know, just because they are Shia and the Muslim Sunni, they are the majority in Nigeria. The president of Nigeria, he killed the Shia. He started targeting the Shia and killing the Shia. Not the terrorist. Here we go. Nigerian army killed 348 Shia Muslims. Three hundred forty-eight Shia Muslim get killed. Anyone? Did you hear anybody uh, saying, uh, questioning the, the the Nigerian government how you killed the three hundred forty-eight people? So what if they are Muslims? So what if they are Shia? They are not a human. Nobody question. In those countries, you can slaughter a town, and nobody care. We saw the head of the United Nations going all the way to New Zealand going all the way to the mosque in New York and to speak against the terrorist who, who did the crime of killing 50. But did you hear the United Nations leader questioning Nigeria of killing 348 people who just because they are Shia? In those countries, you can kill as many as you wish. You have license from European leaders from uh, American leaders, Canadian leaders, Australian leaders, you have license to kill. It's okay. This is Nigeria. Go ahead and kill. I thought there is something is called 
international crime law. And I thought there's a court for that. How come when there is a leader from Al-Bosnia or leader from Serbia, he commit a war crime, the whole of Europe move? Why you don't capture? There's an order to capture the president of Sudan for more than 10 years. And until now he is free. And he is welcome. And not only, and not only that, President Trump, he left the sanctions in Sudan. This guy is a war criminal. How you left the sanctions on him? He killed tens of thousands of Christians in Sudan. I wanted to share this with you guys. This is really disgusting. But it is the truth. And we do not need to be violent. And we don't appreciate violence. But countries should stand and protect those poor Christians. Enough is enough. For how many years those Christians will be slaughtered? Look, if you look at the news, five years ago, seven years ago, ten years ago, I mean, it's still the same, nothing changed. Massive numbers of coffin is a daily news there for Christians. They are burying their dead ones in a massive graveyard. I'm afraid if I play the videos for you, you might faint. Hundreds of people are buried together in one graveyard. Very disgusting. We have leaders who claim to be Christians. They go to the church only just to show, you know, like uh, Trump, he go every Sunday to the church. You are right. I believe you, Christian, now. Putin, he go every Sunday to the church. Now, I, I believe you. You are Christian. I can't tell. Mm -hmm. And both of them, they are friend to Erdogan. The most hateful person in history today to Christianity. Anyway, I am going to uh, stop this uh, broadcast for now. Uh, it makes me feel disgusted. But, you know, nothing new, my friend. The apostles of Christ themselves, they've been killed in the same way. They've been slaughtered in the same way, even more ugly. But yet, they were victorious. And no matter what you do, we are victorious. For God is with us, and the devil is in your side. So no matter how many you kill, yes, it's sad you kill them. Yes, it is suffering. But yes, we are victorious. I will go live on air maybe later with a new topic. And please tell your friends that we have now a new book published in Spanish for those who speak Spanish, if you don't mind. The book is very well done, translation. The Muslims, they are trying to target the Spanish community, trying to convert them into the cult of Islam, so every one of them will get the 70 versions with her 70 brand new vagina. A vagina vendor God. So help us, so we can help them. Spread the news, tell your friends, and let us do the good work. Maybe we are not leaders of countries, but we will do whatever we can do. And me, myself, I do my best. And I hope you will join to do what you need to do too.
you know, downloading videos, posting news, sharing, learning, taking notes, answering Muslims, this is something you can do. You do not need a leader of a country to do that. All right? So I will try to be back soon. I hope so. And we will have a new topic for today. Thank you for all those who support us. And we stand with the African black Christian community. We stand with the African, uh, uh, with, we stand with Muslims community if they are discriminated too. We stand with everybody is not a treated fair. We stand for we are Christian. We stand always for justice. We don't stand with the group. We are not standing with the Nigerian because they are Christians. No, we are standing because they are the victims. If the Christian in Nigeria are the one is killing Muslims, then we will stand with the Muslims. But this is not what's happening. It is always the opposite. So we as a Christians, we stand with the right side. No matter who, always stand with the poor, always stand with the needy, always stand with the one who is discriminated, not with the Christian for he's a Christian, not with the Muslim for he's a Muslim. Stand, be human. Be human. God created you to be a human and to be with the right. If you claim to be a truthful person, even if you are a Muslim, and you say that you stand with the truth, how how you claim that you are a truthful person, and yet you stand against the one who is a rapist. You stand with him. You support him. A Christian person, he always should stand and take the side of the truth. And what is right? If I see a person is attacking a Muslim woman, he want to rape her, I will put my life in line to defend her. Not because she's a Muslim, not because she is a Christian, not because she is a human. We should do always what is right. I want to say, say thank you for being here. I'm not going to keep this video. I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, please, all of you, uh, tell your friends about what we do here, our channel. Share the, the links of our, my videos and you know download them. And in the same time, my books. And I really appreciate those who support us. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you again soon, maybe in a few hours from now. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. I mean to that. See you soon. Bye-bye.